So we move on to our last Nintendo product for the next seeable future. Uh, in fact, I have no idea what I'll be doing the next Nintendo unboxing video. Probably when the new Sword and Shield comes out. But I have the Pro Controller. In fact, this isn't called the Pro Controller. It's called the GamePad S Pro Wireless. So not only does it have wireless feature, it has precise Joy-Cons and dual vibrations. Wow. And it comes with a five-year warranty guarantee. Mate, I'm fucking sorted for the next five years. But yeah, $32.99. Not a bad piece of hardware. In fact, this could be comfortable on my hands because as my large hands, using the Joy-Con controllers have been a pain in the arse. And using the stupid grip thing that they give you is still the same similar result. My hands are too big for the controller. Nintendo didn't really think of a massive guy using their product. So let's get straight into this one. I don't want to damage the box just in case it boils my warranty. It probably doesn't, but I want to send it back or at least sell it in the future. And I like to keep the box as original as possible. And it's kind of hard when you got meat fingers. I need you not. It's the most annoying thing ever. Oh, there's seals on the side. That would be great if I took these off. If I took them off, I mean just slice them because I'm too lazy there we go got it out boom and that flips over take that oh god i just feel like i'm gonna rip it at some point and then voila we're in there is just one slight issue that i hate with boxes like these and that is the way it's sealed like when this is connected in you have to take this bit off before you can open it why do they do that? They do it intentionally so that we damage the box. But it's kind of stupid if you're going to do a box and you're sealing it with tape, don't make it like a prison to get into. I like to keep things as they are. Okay, enough of my whining. Let's see what this contains. It contains an update manual. Okay. Um, I want to use this with my Switch, not my PC. Download and start updater. Download the updater from the support section for the Skybait. Wait, I have to update this. What? This is a Switch controller, right? Mate, I, I hope this is a Switch controller. Because if this is not, I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Switch controller. It says Switch controller. But I, I don't be rude but what if you don't have a computer although it's kind of irrelevant like everyone's got a computer they've got a laptop of some sort but i'm just saying what if you're one of those people that only has the console and not a computer if i have to update this before i can use my switch they should have advertised that in the description because i wouldn't have brought this rubbish I would have just paid £60 for the Pro Controller. I'm not saying that's lazy, I'm just saying you shouldn't have to update it on a computer before you get to use it with your system. So we have the controller out of the box. And I just want to quickly get this out to see what it's like. And so far, it's a nice shape, nice build quality. The only issue I do have is with the grips around here because they feel a bit weird the way they shaped them. So it's like two triangles meeting with each other, which is kind of stupid. They could have done it round and smooth, but they went with this kind of weird bump out effect, which just like, you know, really irritates me and doesn't really work well on the grips, especially if you've got large hands. But this has improved some things with my large fingers. I now have easy access over the D-pad, the analog sticks and the button. Full control, that's what I wanted, full control. None of this Joy-Con rubbish, Proper controllers, hands down, grip on there. Well, I may have to get new grips, but hands down on there. I could push all the buttons with ease, ease by the way, and still game to perfection. Else in the box, we have the charging cable, quite long actually, that's pretty good. And then buried away in here, we have, wait, what the hell is this? Um, attention, do not return this product to the store. Mate, if you don't ruin your product, you're having it back. I want my money back. Please contact State Bike Support for help first. If any sub troubleshooting questions or are missing parts, call the numbers below. Email them if you want to. Oh, and it says, turn me over. News, giveaways, download supports, get in touch with her. Mate, no offense, but if I want a refund, I'm sending you the product back. I shouldn't have to ring you up. Get your support and be like, 
Right, we're going to try all these 38 steps. And if all these steps fails, then you can get your money back. Fuck off. Just give me your money back. But yeah, I really hope that if I have to update this on my computer, I'm going to be pissed. And I will be doing a review on this. Don't, oh, don't you worry. I'm doing a separate review for my Mark review series. I'm going to go hard shit on this. Like, if this is... Well, I think it is, and you have to update on your PC in order to get to use it. I'm going to be disappointed. I know it's third party, but still, shouldn't have to do that. But if I can use it on my PC, it's an extra benefit. But yes, that is the Pro Controller. Or the third party Pro Controller from Snakebike. But yes, if you did enjoy this unboxing video, uh, sure, I'm sure I know I did. Then all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications when you do subscribe. And what that essentially does is keep you up to date when I post new design videos each week to my channel. But until then, take care.